The generalized confinement began. We changed. Now, I'm a vagabond on my way to you, always in the distance, and reaching for my emotions constantly, a gesture tiring my senses. I can't really look at you. I can't really talk to you. I can't touch you. I can't smell you. We have no contact, and the Gestalt is shattered. I literally was in panic mode, obsessively checking the news, social media, and the tons of emails that I kept receiving. You couldn't escape it. I mean, that's all anyone was talking about, and rightly so. I mean, we were scared and shocked, and outraged, and fascinated. But me, I couldn't breathe. I just feel overwhelmed. Yeah, it feels good. Not to feel overwhelmed, but to finally admit it out loud. And just a few days ago, I was laying down on the floor, not knowing what to do with myself. And I realized I haven't even asked myself what's really going on in so long. This is a reminder for all of us that the environment has to be taken seriously. That no one is more important than the other, and this desire for money and power is nothing but an accessory to what really life is. This is a difficult and scary time, but from the start I saw quarantine as an opportunity for self-discovery and personal projects. Every morning I go for a run and I observe the emptiness of the streets, the homes where the shutters are drawn, the peacefulness, the lack of cars, noise, Pollution. I admire the beauty all around me because Paris without people is still Paris. Not so long ago, I was listening to opera and I put on my wall this quote. This was the last day of your life. You spent it the way you're spending it today. Since we've been in lockdown and try to live by that statement, try to live your life your own way. Be out loud and be grateful for the things you took for granted. And be grateful for the ordinary heroes who cure and save lives. Being inside during this pandemic is a privilege. You're not stuck indoors. You're staying inside so that people at a higher risk than you won't die. You haven't lost all your freedom. You're temporarily changing your routine so that people won't die. You miss going to the park. We all miss going to the park. I wake up and I try to understand why I am in a hurry to have a coffee. The sun highlights all the room and I can't even see a piece of blue sky. And the chimney seems brand new for me. Yes, it's real. I'm alone in this apartment. Alone in this city. In this country. Che adesso sono ovunque, sulle suole di questo tempio. Sono, sono, sono tutti segni che sto vivendo in un incubo senza fine. Non, non so più. Non so più. It's funny how this invisible thing that's waiting to catch us has made our shortcomings quite visible. Ineffective healthcare system, political incompetence, selfishness, Greed, it's all there. Yet, in every crisis, there is also a spark of something beautiful. People helping people. And sometimes at a great personal cost. Empathy. I hope that stays. A positive change is coming. And I love the life. And so many people. We extend our deepest condolences to the friends and families of those who lost their lives due to COVID-19.